now. An important milestone has been reached in the £20 million restoration of Lincoln Castle. The roof of the vault that will hold the city's original copy of the Magna Carta has been completed and a topping out ceremony was held earlier today. Next year is the 800th anniversary of the Magna Carta, the document which for the first time set out some of the basic rights that we still enjoy today. Jake Zuckerman has this. Throughout its thousand-year history, Lincoln Castle has undergone many changes. Today is the latest, a major landmark in the ongoing building work, with a topping-out ceremony for the new Magna Carta Centre. It's where Lincoln's precious original copy of Magna Carta, one of only four in existence, will be stored in a new climate-controlled security vault where visitors can see it. It is state-of-the-art. It's, it's been designed to fit into an area without intruding onto the Victorian building and the G Georgian building on this side. Well, it might not look like much now, but by next summer, this damp basement will be a state-of-the-art 180-degree cinema, where visitors will get a full interpretation of the history of the castle and of Magna Carta. It's about making the tourism offer for visitors uh, vastly improved. Uh, on what it has been. You know, well, cathedral and castle are great, William the Conqueror buildings, it's a great story later on in Mag Magna Carta, and we want to be able to tell that story. Issued by King John in 1215, Magna Carta is a legal document that's played a key role in British and even world history. The people effectively, through the barons, told the king that his power was not limitless and he had to govern in accordance with the law. And that has been the case ever since. The new Magna Carta Centre is just part of a larger £20 million Lincoln Castle revealed project, which includes this new walkway on the castle walls and a complete refurbishment of the Victorian prison. During the work, new discoveries have been made on site, including a Saxon church with ancient burials. This weekend, the public will be able to see for the first time some of the conservation work being carried out on the Victorian prison. It's hoped that the refurbishment will attract thousands of extra visitors to the city, boosting the local economy by as much as £68 million a year. Jake Zuckerman, BBC Look North, Lincoln.